Yes, yes, yes. I return. JJ, the Claymore Minotaur, continuing this Neo boss run. And right now, I am taking on Saika Magaichi. And I remember that this fight was a pain in the backside. Mostly because I did not realize that he has one fatal flaw in his game. You see how he takes to the air and does damage before I was waiting it out, getting dominated by his air superiority, waiting till he came back to the ground, trying to do damage then, and it did not help me at all. Then I realized if you catch him in mid-air with any kind of projectile, he's on the floor and left open. Now he has a few attacks. Obviously he's got those melee attacks with his sword, he'll roll around and shoot you a few times. He's got one or two telegraphed attacks and he can summon his guardian spirits to do a relatively easily avoidable wind damage attack where if you're far enough away you can just run right in between its area of effect. Now, you see? There it is. He's in midair. He might try and do a teleportation move, but I think his teleport works as such where when he teleports behind you, you can still see him on the screen to avoid his attack. Just run in the opposite direction of where he is and you can deal with him. But the fatal flaw in his attack style and patterns is that he goes up into the air and like Icarus flies far too close to the sun and his wings are burnt and he falls to the ground leaving him wide open for your OTG grapple attack which does serious damage and in the meantime he does hold a bit of a beating from your standard attacks. And there it is, another one down in this Neo boss run. It's JJ the Claymore Minotaur, and I'm out, players.